What's up everybody, MTG Foil Guy here. As you can see, we got something very special on the channel today with us. This is the tied for the second highest beta MOX jet in the entire world, okay? This is one of only three MOX jets that are known to currently exist where all four subs are 9.5 or better. In this case, we have 10 centering, 9.5 edges, 9.5 corners, 9.5 surface. That makes it a quad plus. As I was just saying before, there's only three that are currently known to exist, okay? There's one other one with 10 centering, the three 9.5 subs, and then there's one with 10 centering, 10 corners, 9.5 edges, 9.5 surface, okay? The Mox Jet is the, hard, the second hardest Mox beta moxin to grade. Currently, there are 19 known 9.5 examples that exist. The hardest is the Mox Emerald, and only 14 examples. However, for quads, um, which is all four subcategories 9.5, uh, this is actually the hardest of the moxin, and it's actually the hardest of the P9 to grade. There are, like I said, there are only three examples currently known to exist. The next hardest is the Mox Emerald, which has four examples, and, and like I believe I said earlier, a population of 14 total 9.5s. So I was very happy to get this. Um, the other two, one is in the um, highest graded beta set at uh, collection. It's uh, that's a good friend of mine. I can tell you right now that one is not for sale. It never will be for sale. Uh, he has told me though that if he decides to sell the entire set, then it would be included. But you have no chance of buying it on its own. The other one. So what I, what I typically do is when I go out hunting for hunting for these, uh, I start off with the last known owner of the card. So in the case of the highest graded with the two tens and the two nine five subs, uh, I started with the person who graded the card. They were able to get in contact with who they sold it to. However, that person did not get back to them, so I wasn't able to pursue that one any any further. Unfortunately. Uh, although this one came up about two months ago, it was recently graded. This is the highest serial numbered of the three. As soon as it was graded, I was able to track down the buyer. The buyer uh, happened to be a dealer, so he was looking to sell the card. Uh, we came to a price, and two months later, I have I have the cards. So it, it worked out to where this person was going to be at Grand Prix LA or GPLA this year. I was not able to attend. I wasn't able to get it off work. So I ended up uh, having a friend of mine go for me, pick this card up, and then he was able to, to bring it back. So very stoked to have this uh, absolutely incredible piece to have in my collection. I'm only missing the Mox Sapphire. I'm in the Black Lotus, and then my P9 or P10, because I do include the Time Vault, uh, Quad Plus, not even just a Quad set anymore, my Quad Plus set will be complete. Uh, Stay subscribed, like the video, um, like I just said, subscribe to the channel. Hopefully we'll be able to share the Mock Sapphire and the Black Lotus soon. I do have a couple leads to ones. Uh, they're very expensive though. So once we track those down and once we add them to the collection, obviously I'll do videos on those. Hope you guys enjoyed this very rare piece. I, I'm overjoyed. I, I'm really excited to have this in my collection. I hope you guys are excited to watch the video. This is MTG Foil Guy saying like, subscribe. We'll see you next time.